everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Blue from Hack the Box. This is an easy machine that exploits MS-17, which is a famous exploit slash vulnerability found in 2017. So this machine involves exploiting SMB, which will allow you to gain a remote shell on the machine as system. So why are we doing this machine? Well, quite simply, this lab will teach us the basics as a beginner to eventually be able to use a lot, utilize these skills learned in this video to then get the OSCP certification. So let's grab a coffee and let's get started. First off, you need a VIP subscription. Label the machine, got to grab the IP. You want to do sudo, gedit, slash, etc., slash hosts. And then we'll go blue, dot, pack the box, save it. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. Okay, so the first thing we want to do once you start a machine is run nmap. So the usual command that I do is nmap ss t5 dash a and blue dot hack the box. And what we'll do is we'll add dash vv. This will allow us to see the scan in real time. So we can see important information, for example, the ports. If there was a web application, this would be really useful. But right now, the most interesting part for us is 445 and 135. Uh, so, sorry, 139 and 445. So, this shows that there is SMB. So, we can use SMB client. Okay, so there's nothing really that sticks out. Share could be interesting, but let's just wait for this to finish. 33%. All right, I'll come back to you once it's done. Okay, so now our nmap scan is done. As I said, we do have our ports here. We'll go down. Yeah, SMB2. Look at this. Now, this is quite old. We also did get information such as your BIOS, your work group, um, guest account used, SMB sign, but, um, sorry, SMB signing enabled, but not required. But the first thing that sticks out to me is that version. Really old. So. Switch this up. Turn all blue. Turn all blue. And you can see blue here. Let's see this one. Now, in this case, we are going to be using Metasploit. In the OSCP, we have one go only across all the machines. Uh, in this case, the Metasploit module um, it's pretty much a working concept in the sense that it's fail proof, um, works easy. It's going to get us our easy clean win, so why not use it? In this case, let's go and search for MSF console, which is, okay, it doesn't come up. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, this looks like an eternal blue walkthrough, but regardless, we can see that this is eternal blue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go sudo msf console. So let's load up Metasploit. Give that a second. So Metasploit is essentially like an exploit database that you can easily put in your host, your ports, and target endpoints with scripts already made the proof of concepts ready for you to just click run really so let's go to search eternal blue so some look here this looks like it you can see our target windows 7 rank is average but there is a check and it is remote. So this is what we want in this case. So let's go use zero. And we're going to type in options so we can understand what we're dealing with. So we've got our host, our port. But what we need to see here is required columns. So this is what we actually need to pre-fill before we exploit. So we don't have cred, so we're not going to worry about this. This There's already a value, so we're not going to worry about. So in short, we'll do our, our host, our port, L host, L port. So you um set set our host to our 
Hack the box IP. Because we're targeting that. And then let's just do options one more time, real quick. So our R port's already set, which is SMB. So we're going to set L host to our ton zero. So L port. So L, mixing myself up here. Let's go P. A ton one in this case for me. There we go. And we're going to set L port to, let's go, 4444. Pretty safe option. Options. So, um, we're going to leave this uh, by default currently, as it is all correct. We can see our, our machine. So this is to create the reverse shell. When Metopeter releases the stage one shell against uh, the SMB target, it will then call back to our reverse shell, which is hosted on Metopeter. Script already loads Metopeter. Um, so do its check, send stage um, two, and this is where we get our shell back. So let's go exploit. a second so sometimes this script um, doesn't work essentially you've got uh, you know this is an old machine so sometimes things aren't going to work but in this case we get a win if it doesn't work for you just restart it over and over the script and it will work so let's go sys info do it again it's up arrow to get that we can see we're Harris computer let's go shell who am I NT authority, so we are the highest privilege. So if I go, who am I? Ash or. You know what? Let me clear screen. Oh, yeah, I can't clear. That's all right. Uh, we can see we're part of the built in administrators group. So we've got all our groups here NT authority, all our privileges. We, we own this machine. So what we're going to do is let me pull this all the way to the top. Nope. That's all right. Let's go. One second. Let me. Really? Let me just cancel that. So now let's go. Um, duh. Okay. Let's go PowerShell. PowerShell's friendlier. We love PowerShell. And our shell has died. That's all right, if this happens to you, just run it again. All right, brilliant. So what I've done in this case, uh, entering PowerShell, it caused my shell to break. So since we're using a shared machine, multiple people are exploiting this vulnerability. It is kernel based, so you are gonna get issues. So just reset um, the machine and it should work for us go. So we're gonna enter in shell again. CD. Let's actually go back. Duh. Go back one more time. Do it. And let's go users. Let's go administrator. Let's go in desktop. And we can type our brute.txt. If I can spell. There we go. And we also want our user flag. So this is a nice and easy machine. You can get user, uh, user and root at the same time. So we can CD Harris. Um, the flags are always on desktop. That probably won't work. You know, it's fine. And we can type user.txt. Great. So there's our flags. So I'm gonna scroll up here. Oh, it's gone. That's okay. We'll split screen and so I'm just going to run this in the background real quick. There. So what we do is on here. We can enter in our user flag and our root flag, and we can enter these questions. So I'll wait for the nmap scan to complete. Uh, we did run it at the start, but a good little trick. Firstly, I run Terminator, 
Uh, so sudo apt install terminator. But secondly, what we can do is we can go scrolling and infinite scroll back. And what this will do is it will allow us to scroll all the way to the top of the first command that we entered. So we don't lose the output. Okay, here we go. There's our ports. So put this on one side and we'll put this on the other. So how many TCP ports are listening on blue? Don't include five digit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You can enter that in. Wrong answer. Let's see if we've got any cheeky ones. Go back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, uh, listening, ah, here we go. So listening, so we want to open here. So one, two, three. That's how many. Okay, what is the host name of blue? So if we go down, down. That's how we can grab it here. And it's Harris PC. What is the operating system running? Give a two word answer. So our MMAP scan, we did dash A to get the operating system, pretty much just all our info. Let's see, Windows 7. How many SMB shares available on blue? So, so B client. Well, go about a P. Since I reset the machine, the blue dot the box isn't mapped to the right IP at the moment. But we can see one, two, three, four, five. Okay, what 2017 Microsoft Bulletin number describes a remote code execution vulnerability? What we can do is let's just paste this in. Oh, that didn't paste. There we go, MS1710. So that's what I described at the start of the video. Actual question. What we can do is for this one also, search it online. And there we go, wanna cry. So that's another good um attack to search up in your own time okay what user do you get execution with when exploiting ms1710 include the full name include anything before um the dot so your host name ah oh, sorry ah uh, who am i We're entering the flags and there you go so i hope you enjoyed this video today next week we will be going through a more advanced machine that will be teaching you from reconnaissance all the way to post exploitation and root anyways i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you next time